Hello, my wonderful, beautiful friends. Guys, welcome back to our slash I don't work here, lady, where Karen seem to think that everybody's put on Earth to serve them. And guys, in today's episode, a mega Karen harasses a customer at not one, but two separate locations and tries to have her fired and arrested both times. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's stories. Hit subscribe if you haven't. And as always, you can send or link your wacky stories to this email right here. Okay, so I have an adventure to tell you about on a trip to a store that has a name that rhymes with small fart. There's me, my son, the entitled Karen, store employee, and a manager involved. A few hours ago, my son took me to Walmart to do some shopping. Now, the shopping itself was uneventful for the most part until the Karen of the story came into the picture. My son was doing his job helping me shop by getting things down off a shelf and placing them in a cart as I'm permanently wheelchair bound. I was reading off a list of shopping and he was getting the items, when I needed to take a break to use my inhaler. That's when we heard a loud snapping of fingers and a loud, rude, ahem. The dreaded voice then says, Hey, now that you're done helping her, you can help me with my shopping. At that, my son turned and asked, Um, are you talking to me? I don't work here, lady. At that, I chuckled and said, yeah, that's my son. He's not getting paid for this. The woman is just standing there staring at us, and she starts yelling, you useless kid, I'm getting you fired. Now, that did come out of nowhere, and the Karen suddenly starts calling my son a liar. Now, with her yelling, an employee comes to see what it was about and asked if he could help. Karen tells him, your employee has been extremely rude, and he threatened me when I asked for help. Hearing that, the employee looked confused and said, Ma'am, what employee are you talking about? The Karen then points to my son and screams, Him! That guy! The employee tells her that my son doesn't work here and she's clearly not having it. She tells him, I don't want to do this with you, so get me your manager right now. Before long, the manager arrives, and before he could even ask what's going on, Karen launches into a heavily embellished tale, painting herself as a victim and demanding compensation for the horrible insult she's endured, and demanding both my son and the employee be fired immediately. Now here's where it gets good. All of a sudden, the manager says, Hey, you're not allowed in this store. Karen began to argue back, but the response of the manager was a wonder to behold, and caught us all by surprise as he says, Stop! This is the second time you've harassed customers in my store. You can't just keep harassing customers and making up wild tales and trying to get people fired. The woman tried to open her mouth in protest, but the manager beat her to it and said, I said, stop. Now leave your cart where it is and please get out of my store and don't ever set foot in here again or I will trespass you and have you jailed. The woman stood there just staring at him and the manager says, I said, get out now or I will call the police and have you escorted out the front door in handcuffs. Hearing him say that, the Karen took off running as if the devil himself had come in pursuit of her. It was a very satisfying thing to have witnessed. The manager then turns to us and says, I'm so sorry you had to endure that. This isn't the first time she's been in here giving people problems. Like I've said, she's been in here multiple times and we've actually banned her from this location. The manager then apologized and we went on our merry way. And now we have a great story to tell. Guys, honestly, I've never believed that people in Walmart could be so crazy until I started reading all these stories that take place in a freaking Walmart. Like, what is it about this store that attracts all the crazies, guys? And I love how the manager was sick and tired of that woman's BS. And speaking of Karens in Walmart, guys, this next story, oh boy. Oh my goodness, I have one. I never thought I'd have a story for the sub. And okay, I'm still in a state of rage. So I just got home from the good old Mart of Walls. I knew pretty much what I wanted, so I didn't bother with a cart. Of course, I get distracted, and I end up in the kitchen cutlery aisle, and I'm idly just looking at things and putting them back on the shelves. Now, I guess doing that made me look like a worker. I don't know how. I'm wearing a dress, but whatever. So, I'm also hard of hearing. I wear hearing aids. These hearing aids are rose gold, and they're awesome. They're badass tech in my ears. So since I'm shopping by myself, I have no reason to think that someone would be needing my attention. But this woman was trying to get my attention. The woman marches up to me and says, Finally you stop. I've been chasing you up and down the aisles. Now I'm thinking, I must have something loose or I've dropped something. And the fact that she thought I was a worker just didn't occur to me. The woman goes on and says, You really shouldn't be wearing those when you're working. The woman's out of breath. Her little toddler's babbling away oblivious and I'm still clueless. And I say, uh, wear what? She says, 
the AirPods. I reply, uh, whose pods? She says, your pods. Now, I totally thought she was talking about something on me. I'm looking down at my dress, thinking that something had latched onto my dress. So as I had my head down, this evil bat lady from hell actually got frustrated enough to reach out and she grabbed my left hearing aid. With that, I'm in such a state of shock, my hearing aids are a part of me. And I went from baffled to pure rage in a split second and I scream, hey, you give that back right now. I actually clawed at my hearing aid and I wrestled it back from her and I'm trembling at this point. Meanwhile, the Karen's screaming, don't touch me. At this point, her kid starts crying from the sudden energy change, and she says, Look what you did. I was just saying you shouldn't wear those when you're working. What kind of employee listens to music on the job? I then start walking away from her and scream, I'm not an effing employee. Now get away from me. If you come near me again, I will call the police and have you arrested for assault. Hearing that, the Karen says, What assault? I then growl at her, and yes, I did growl. I then walked away to find a store manager to tell them that they had a customer who just tried to take one of my hearing aids. Yeah guys, people really need to learn to keep their hands to themselves. And even if OP did work there, her reaching out to grab the hearing aids or what she thought were AirPods out of OP's ears is assault. And the nerve of that Karen to scream, don't touch me, when OP reached out to try to wrestle her hearing aids back from her. And honestly, I'm glad she didn't break the hearing aids doing that, because we all know for a fact that she would not have paid for them. Alright, so from time to time, I usually have to put up with a Karen every now and then with my work, but nothing ever worth talking about or posting. Until recently. So this happened when we were sort of getting back to normal at the beginning of summer with the retail stores. And just to let everyone know, I'm a female, 36 years old, in really great shape, and a cyclist. I was out mountain biking with some friends on a wonderful late afternoon. I then headed home and stopped at a Walmart to pick up a few things to make dinner for my daughter and myself. I then happened to see my best friend with her kid. We greeted and I've always been like an aunt to her child. He was turning 4 years old and she was buying him a bicycle for his birthday. Now this is right up my alley so I say great, let Auntie K help you out with it. Both were happy with it and we found a good 16 inch wheel starter bike, looked at helmets and even fitted the helmet to him. My best friend and I were chatting for a bit while her son was looking at other toys. And this is when I get the ahem. I then turned, saw the Karen in all of her glory, and yes, every bit of the Karen look with her child. And then said, oh, I'm sorry if I'm in the way of the shelves. Then Karen says in a not so nice tone, now that you're done with her, you can help me with my child and get a bike for him. At that I say, oh, I'm sorry ma'am, I don't work here, I was just helping my friend with her son. Karen says, yes you do. You are wearing cycling clothes, why would you not work here? I tell her I just finished with a ride about an hour ago and I'm here to pick up a few things and I saw my friend so I was just helping her. I'm sure one of the employees would be glad to help you and really, I don't work here. My friend confirms and says, she doesn't work here lady. Karen looks at her and says, you need to butt out and shut up, I wasn't talking to you. I then say out loud, oh my goodness, let's just go get away from this crazy lady. Karen hears that and says, What? How dare you call me that? I will have you fired. Now at this point I'm trying to stay calm, so I repeat, I do not work here. My friends always say that I'm really scary when I'm mad, and being a tall woman at about 5'10 and fit, I'm not a very small woman. We try to walk away when Karen grabs my arm, and I pull out of her grip and tell her, If you touch me again, I will have you arrested. I try to walk away again and she grabs my cycling jersey and says, You are gonna help me or I will get you arrested and I'm gonna report you to the manager. I then scream at her and say, Let go of my jersey you wing nut. At this point a Walmart manager comes around the corner and Karen screams at him, You need to fire your employee for not helping me. The manager tells her, Ma'am, she doesn't work here and you need to let her go before I have you escorted out the door. Karen loses it. She screams, how dare you treat paying customers this way? I then go and pull my jersey from her grip and she tries to slap me in the face. I grab her wrist in mid-flight and said, You've done it now, lady, and twisted her arm behind her. The Karen is now screaming assault and to call police and she's screaming about how bad I'm hurting her arm as I pull up behind her back. I do want to note that I have a lot of fighting training. I have some judo and some MMA. My best friend is recording it all on her phone and trying to keep her kid calm at the same time. I then say to the manager, call the sheriff department right now, I'm having this woman arrested. 
and the Karen screams, Let me go, I will sue everyone in the store, you're all going to jail. At this point her kid's crying, and we escort her up to the front of the store as we wait for someone from the sheriff's department. Two deputy sheriffs walk in, and I knew them both, from having to use the sheriff's department a lot in my line of work. I let go of Karen, and she screams, Hey, arrest her now for assaulting me! One of the deputies looks at Karen and says, Ma'am, you need to calm down right now. Karen screams, No, she assaulted me. I want her jailed. We were all just standing there, just waiting for the sheriffs to handle everything and answer anything that was asked to us. Deputy number two says, What's going on here? Karen's still screaming and says, I said arrest this bitch. Arrest her. One of the sheriffs looks at her and says, Hey, you need to be quiet or I'm going to arrest you. Now at this point I was feeling really bad for her kid, he was crying as another Walmart employee tried to keep him calm. The Karen kept screaming and then they cuffed her, as I, the manager, and my best friend were talking to the sheriff about what happened. I didn't want to press charges because I didn't want to spend a lot of time in court with it all, as I spend a lot of time in court with my line of work. The woman was banned from Walmart and the manager apologized for everything. I never did get my items to make dinner, as I called my daughter and told her that we were ordering out. Now I thought that would be the end of this and I would never see that woman again but boy was I wrong. So two weeks go by and I'm in my office at work and I told everyone in the office about what happened at this Walmart. And by the way, I own a home rental business. It's family owned. I've spent my whole life in this business and I took over when my parents retired. It's a nice size business with about 40 employees from office to maintenance. On this one fine day, one of my office employees comes to the back office with this couple. I was in my office with the door shut, but my employee introduced them to my office manager and they were going to sign final paperwork on a home rental. My CEO buzzes me and asked if I could come meet the new renters and introduce myself to them. As I walked up front, the look of shock hit my face and I could not believe it. It was Karen. Karen sees me and says, You, don't tell me you work here too. Calmly I said, Yes, I do work here. Karen then screams, Who's your manager? I'm gonna have you fired. I do not want to look at you today. At this point, she starts screaming at the top of her lungs, saying, I refuse to let this useless bitch help me. Someone else come help me. I can see Karen's husband now turning red from embarrassment, and then saying and pointing to my office manager, and says, she's the manager. Talk to her. Karen then yells at my manager, saying, you should fire this worthless employee. My office manager says, I can't fire her. And Karen says, why the F not? Are you useless too? My manager tried to say, ma'am, because... And that's when Karen interrupts her and says, I want to speak to the owner. My office manager says, that's what I'm trying to tell you, ma'am. I can't fire her because she, pointing to me, is the owner. Karen then looks at me and says, you are the owner? I tell Karen yes, and you are in my place of business, and I'm not going to rent a house to you, and I'm asking you to leave right now and to never come back before I call the sheriff department on you again. The woman leaves in a big hurry with her husband in tow, and we had a good laugh at that woman. Guys, this is freaking hilarious how Opie encountered this crazy lady twice. Like, what are the chances of that? And guys, I think the craziest thing about this story is that Karen thinks Walmart has people in cycling clothes who work there, assisting customers in the bike department. Now that gave me a good laugh. So this story happened back when I was a kid. My brother and I have been crazy into Pokemon since it came out. We basically grew up with it. Back then, Toys R Us used to host official Nintendo-sponsored Pokemon League events every Saturday morning, from 9am to noon, and we always went. My brother and I even started showing up early to help the organizer set up. Let's call him Mario. It was easy. Go to the back employee-only room, grab the tables, chairs, pens, promo cards to pass out, badges to award, and the new badge books for all the newcomers. Now, Mario did not know a thing about Pokemon, but my brother and I were super used to the league, so we let him know what was what when he didn't know what to do. He quickly just pushed more and more tasks onto me. And pretty soon, my brother and I were kind of running the event, and he'd disappear for almost three hours. No one seemed to notice or care, since I was doing a great job, and all the kids were having a great time. Also, I was damn near unbeatable. And in the world of card games, that makes you the boss. That's just how it works. My brother and I then noticed that Mario hadn't shown up in like three weeks. Not that we really cared, we just went to the back room by ourselves, carried the tables and chairs out, passed out the promo cards to each attendee, stamped their badge books, presided over matches, gave awards, etc. Then at noon, we would clean up, take the tables and chairs back, neatly stacked, and hung around till noon until our mom came to pick us up. 
So on the third week after noticing that Mario hadn't shown up, another employee who we'll call Rex finds my brother and myself as we're putting stuff away and he asked, Are you the ones that have been running the Pokemon thing the last few weeks? We answer yes, and you can visibly see a look of oh crap on his face. Like he wasn't sure what to do now. So he stands there thinking for a bit, and then he says, uh, how old are you? I tell him 15. He then says, okay, don't go anywhere. He then leaves and comes back. He gets the basic info from me, like name, address, etc. And bless my little naive heart, I answer everything. And then we leave. Next Saturday is business as usual. Then Rex shows up after we get done putting stuff away, and then he hands me an envelope. Inside is a paycheck for like 130 bucks. It was back pay for all the hours I'd worked. It turns out that Rex was the manager, and he'd been getting so many compliments from the parents about the employee that runs the Pokemon League that he'd been trying to find that employee for weeks. But all his employees kept saying, it's not me. Apparently, it was a complete mystery to everyone how the tables and chairs were being put out and being put back and who was actually running the event. Remember, my brother and I were just another pair of kids in a crowd of 25 kids, ages 6 to 30 of random players. As far as the Toys R Us staff was concerned, it was a ghost running the events. And that's how I accidentally got my first job, because my parents just assumed I worked there, and the manager ran with it. Oh, as for Mario, I never found out what happened to him, and I never saw him again. And also, to this day, I'm 38 now, I still have it in my resume that my first job was as a Pokemon master. The strange thing is, not a single employer has ever questioned it, and I've gotten some pretty high level jobs, so whatever. Guys, I love this story, but I also found it so odd that nobody in those weeks of Opie and her brother coming there ever questioned of like two random kids coming in and out of the employee room, but a wonderfully wholesome story nonetheless. I'd also love to know what the heck happened to Mario too. Okay, so today, I was out at the local Mart of Walls, just doing a basic food run. And while walking past the milk coolers, I grabbed the last two pint bottles of chocolate milk. As I let the door to the cooler close and put the bottles in my cart, I notice a rather hefty woman just standing a tad too close to me. I start walking away, and I hear her say, Hey, you, where are you taking those? Of course, unaware that she was talking to me, I kept walking. And the next thing I know, my upper arm is grabbed and pulled. At first, I sort of just stared at her, almost surprised that she actually had the gall to act this way with a stranger. The woman repeats herself and says, I said, where are you taking those? I said, what? What are you doing with those chocolate milks? I said to her, uh, I'm buying them. She says, okay, well, first off, lose the attitude. And second, you're supposed to let customers have them and not take them for yourself. Now at this point I will point out that it took me some time to realize that she thought I worked there because the uniform for the store is red shirt and khaki pants. I was wearing tan pants, red flannel, and a brown jacket. I say to her, what are you talking about? Karen says, those were the last two milks. Give them to me. With that, I completely ignore her. I then walk away a few aisles down to look at soups. I step a few feet away from my car to grab the soup, when I see movement in my periphery. I figure it's the woman, and decide it's best to just laser focus on the soup and to ignore her. After waiting for a bit and sensing her leave, I go back to my cart and immediately notice that my milks are gone. Now I am mad, and I continue my shopping when the woman comes walking over with an employee, who I'm assuming is a manager. She then shoves one of her sausage fingers in my face, and she says, this is the employee that took my groceries out of my cart, and then he told me to F off. I can't believe an employee would talk to me this way. I want him fired right now. Okay, now I realize what's going on and I just about lost it. I said to her, I don't work here, you freaking moron. The manager says, whoa, 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 hey now. Karen says, you see what I mean? How did you manage to hire such a mean person? Fire him. The manager says, ma'am, he doesn't work here. Karen says, then why did he say he did? I tell her I didn't. And she says, you'd better watch your tone. My husband is a... At this point, the woman was cut off by another store employee. This one was wearing a black shirt and khaki pants, although the shirt had the store logo on it. I believe he was their asset protection employee. He walks up to her and says, ma'am, may I look inside your bag? Karen says, what? No, why? The guy tells the manager I was watching the monitors and I saw her taking something out of this guy's cart and putting it inside her bag. 
At this point, I start laughing, and Karen looks at me and says, Screw you. She then said to the manager, I was gonna pay, I just didn't want him trying to take them back. At this point, I walk up to the front so I can pay and leave. As I get there, I notice a couple of local police officers walking in, and an employee pointing them over to the guy in the black shirt, who's now walking with the woman up front as well. As they walk past me towards the back office, I can hear one of them explaining to the woman, who's now in hysterics, that yes ma'am, just hiding them in your purse constitutes retail fraud. I then left, wanting nothing more to do with this lady. So the moral of the story is play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Yeah, so Karen should have 100% just taken those chocolate milks and left. But no, she just had to try to come back and get the employee fired, and it backfired on her so hard. That's instant karma for you guys. And that, my friends, brings us to another end of our slash I don't work here, lady. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's wonderful stories. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and if you missed the last episode on the channel, I'll link it right here. A spoiled Karen calls 911 when OP refuses to hand over his truck to her. It's such a crazy story, so go check it out if you haven't. And myself and Stevie Boy will see you guys in the next one. We love you.